Hello, what's up YouTube? Today, I will be showing you guys how to install CXMB for custom firmware 638 and 639ME-X. Now, a lot of people have been telling me they want the tutorial, and um, I was just searching around PSPSlimHex.com, and sure enough, I found it, and I was like, hey, you should make a tutorial, so here it is. I'm going to have you guys download this from the internet, of course, and it's going to be a RAR file. You're going to want to open that up open up the folder inside and then plug your PSP into the USB mode go inside your PSP um, drive and you're going to right click new folder and name the folder CXMB you're going to go into the folder and you're going to want to drag in the CXMB.PRX Okay, now you go back, go inside your SC plugins folder. If you don't have an SC plugins folder, just make a folder named SC plugins. And inside of vsh.txt, again, if you don't have this, just make a new text document, call it vsh. Go in here. Oh, anyways, sorry about that. You're going to want to make a, um, a new line, and you're going to call it this CXMB slash c x m b dot p r x going to want to copy this line right here into your vsh dot text i'll have it in the description so you can just copy and paste it in there save your document and exit out okay now you're going to want to go into psp then look for your folder called theme and of course I have a theme in there but it's for it's a regular theme it's not a custom theme and um, now you're going to want to go and download your themes most they don't have a lot of themes out for this firmware yet but you can convert them um, I got a link here to themes that are already converted so just find one you like I actually kinda like um, this green one down here Gonna hit download. I'm going to want to download your theme here by clicking download. Okay, now we can exit out the browser. And here's my theme. Now it says 638, but 638 and 639, as far as I know, they both work for 639 or whatever going to want to copy the ctf file into your theme folder okay now once you're there you can head back to your psp and okay once back at your psp just disconnect the cable and as you can probably tell already i got a custom wave that i installed myself anyway you're going to want to go into your plugins manager and make sure cxmb.prx is enabled and once you make sure that um, you can just exit out and you're going to want to restart reset device just get a quick reboot now doing this allows you the custom themes to show up under your themes and now as you see here it shows up and when you apply it your PSP should reboot again real fast now as you see here this is a CXMB theme CTF theme which is actually very nice Very, very nice. There you go, as you see, 639ME-2. Well, this concludes my tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Okay?